Force is strong with this one. Star Wars lines, I am full of them right now. Once again, watchers of good movies, my name is Nick Pell. This is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we are going to be talking about the most anticipated film of the year, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. This is, as you know if you're watching this video, the seventh installment in the Star Wars saga. This is directed by J.J. Abrams, the savior of Star Trek, who is now directing this film. And did he do a good job? Let's find out. Daisy Ridley is the new kind of centerpiece of this whole franchise. She plays a woman named Rey who is kind of stuck on this Tatooine-esque planet and she was abandoned by her family as a young girl. And she has become a smuggler and so that's kind of where we are introduced to her character at. I don't want to go into spoilers obviously in this video. I might do a spoiler video later next week sometime. but. Just now that she is a very interesting new addition to this cast, I am really looking forward to seeing what the next installments really have in store for her. Vega is arguably the most talked about character of this new installment in the franchise. He is an ex-stormtrooper who decides to join the Resistance, and that's pretty much all I'll say about him at this point. He's also a interesting kind of main character, and one thing that I did like about this film is that while these two characters, they work very, really well together when they're together, they also stand apart and stand on their feet as strong characters when they're separated, and that is a very good thing. They don't depend on one another to kind of stand up amongst the crowd of these like really good actors that are in this film. And there are a lot of cameos throughout this film. They're not really significant characters, all of them, but there are just like a bunch of faces that you will recognize as you're watching this movie. And Driver as Kylo Ren, he also does a nice job. He's not as ominous or like threatening or like menacing as Vader or the Emperor or other villainous characters in the Star Wars universe. But he is an interesting character to watch, and while his history is a little bit predictable in regards to rumors and other things which have been speculated about him, I did enjoy his performance, and I'm curious what ends up happening with the character in the next installments. The film really does open quite well. It opens up with an action set piece. We are introduced to Kylo Ren within the first five minutes of the film, and that is a very good way to, and strong way to start out this movie, and it just sucks you in immediately as you are introduced to a character who isn't one of the main characters. He's a great pilot in the Resistance, and that's really all we know about him, and yeah, it, the way it goes on from there. After that, though, the movie gets a little bit slow. I'm not going to lie. I, I enjoyed the film, don't get me wrong, but it does have its slight plot issues. And having it start off slow makes sense. This is the first installment of a new trilogy. We are being introduced to new characters. We don't really see anyone from the original cast until 45 minutes to an hour into the actual movie. And so it really focuses strictly on Rey and Finn. And we are introduced to them slowly and so there's not a lot of action set pieces that necessarily happen in that first hour or so and so it, it did get a little bit slow at times and a little bit goofy there's a lot of humor throughout the film which actually works quite well a lot of the time a lot of that is thanks to Harrison Ford and Chewbacca this this duo just works really well there are callbacks to the original trilogy there are just funny banters amongst this this core cast of characters which works just fantastically well and there's just a lot of humor dispersed throughout this film and you really feel J.J. Abrams touch on the film as opposed to George Lucas. Effects also quite quite nice. Um, the, the big space battles and the battles on the ground are kind of the centerpieces in this film. There's not a lot of lightsaber battles until the very end of the film and that was a little bit disappointing for me personally just I think because I grew up amongst the the new trilogy episodes one through three that's where I grew up those were the first Star Wars films that I saw and so those films were just they had a ton of different lightsaber battles and so this film felt very not as action-packed just because of that and maybe it's just my own expectations filtering into it but I was a little bit disappointed in that regard. I was talking about humor about a minute ago and that is something which kind of detracts from Kylo Ren's character as well. There are humorous moments in his scenes as well dealing with kind of bodyguards and just scenes with stormtroopers and all that stuff. Again, 
it's not a terrible thing, but it kind of detracts from this this menacing presence that Vader and Palpatine and Sidious had in the original trilogy. These guys, they did not joke. There was not a lot of humor with them. And so just seeing that with this character kind of detracted from his presence. You're wrong. He is a badass in the scenes that he has to do fighting and everything, and he uses the Force like none other. But it just it's just something which uh, took away from his essence, I thought. Now the ending, which I'm not going to spoil, don't worry. Again, probably do that in a future video. The ending itself seemed very familiar and kind of easy, just in regards to how it concluded. It's not a really big gripe on it. I loved watching this final lightsaber battle between these two people, but it just the way it wrapped up, it just seemed a little bit like, okay, we're going to just assume that this makes sense, just in regards to certain experience that one of the characters has with a the force and also with the lightsaber and so yeah that's just, it's just something that i noticed when i was watching the battle um there should have been a clear victor based on again experience and training and that stuff and yet the opposite person wins so in itself at the last five minutes really sets up episode eight presumably very very nicely kind of sets up generally what this eighth film is going to entail and I am excited to see where all these characters go. It probably seems like I am hating on episode seven a fair amount. I'm not. I very much enjoy this movie but just as I become more of a critic I notice these things and they're just, they're just issues that stood out to me. They didn't affect the movie drastically for me. They're just little issues that I noticed and so I'm going to mention them in a review about the movie. So. Um, those are my thoughts on Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Definitely go check this out if you're a Star Wars fan, and you will probably not be disappointed. It's it's easily a fantastic comeback for the series after the not-talked-about uh, new trilogy. And uh, so, yeah, definitely go check this out. It's a very good time, and I'm excited to see where the series goes from here. But those are my thoughts on Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like the film as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, for a comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose. I appreciate it immensely. As always, my good people, my name is Nick Paul. And once again, may the Force be with you.